Indeed, before starting the talk, uh, let me advertise the 2022 International Workshop on Multiscale Innovative Materials and Structures, MIMS 22, to be held from September 29th to October 1st, 2022 in Chetara on the Amalfi Coast. This will be the fourth edition of a fortunate series of international workshops held in a scenic venue of the Amalfi Coast every three years since 2013. You can notice the, the, the beauty of the place where the conference is held from the pictures that are shown in this advertisement uh, slide. And going to the scientific aspects, uh, um, I will uh, I would like to stress that the special issue of mechanics research communications will collect original peer-reviewed contributions presented at the workshop. I will serve as a chair of this event together with Grant Milton of the University of Utah and Anthony Rosato, uh, who is the editor in chief of uh, MRC. And you can visit the MIMS 22 web website for updates, it's already active, for updates on this event at the URL that is reported on this slide. And you can contact us at this email address for any inquiries. And we warmly hope to see you in Chetar in October 22. And this could be the a special occasion for uh, maybe initiating collaborations or exchanging ideas directly in person. Okay, this okay. is Thank all you. for, for uh, the advertisement. Now I will uh, go back to. Uh, so let me just say a few words yeah. good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Welcome to the to the MetaMath uh, seminar. Today it's my pleasure to introduce the Fernando Fratelli from Salerno University in Italy. And he will talk about compact wave dynamics of density metamaterials applied to civil engineering. So uh, thank you for thank you, Mamer. Uh, thank you for inviting me to this seminar series and for giving me the opportunity to talk about the exciting dynamics of tensivity metamaterials. So this is the outline, the outline of the talk. I will start introducing the concept of tensivity metamaterials with reference to 1D systems. Next, I will focus on the dynamics of 2D and 3D assemblies of tensivity units with stiffening type response. I will end by describing a challenging technical application of tensivity metamaterials and with the discussion and outlook of the presented research. The footnotes that are provided in selected slides report the published literature and the active collaborations on the presented topics. So, in order to introduce the topic, I would like to highlight that nonlinear metamaterials are progressively emerging as a structured materials that can tune their responses to the level of the applied stress strain or the amplitude of traveling waves. The class of nonlinear metamaterials with tensivity architecture is particularly interesting since the mechanical behavior of such systems can be effectively adjusted by acting on internal and external pre-stress, as well as through more usual control techniques. The interest in tensegrity structures has been motivated by nature. Uh, indeed, tensegrity concepts are ubiquitous in nature and can be found in every cell, and from the microstructure of the spider silk to the arrangement of bones and tendons. In order to uh, highlight one of the main ingredients of the mechanics of uh, tensegrity systems, I would like to remark that the stiffness matrix of a tensegrity system is composed of a material part, which is appropriate to the members' sides and mechanical properties, and a geometrical part for pre-stress. When the tensegrity system is in a mechanism, the material term of the stiffness matrix vanishes. And the stiffness of the structure, as well as the speed of sound, can be easily controlled by tuning the self-stress which is applied to the system. It is also worth noting that tensegrity systems may exhibit a stiffening response when adjacent cells are pushed against each other or are close to a locking configuration, as we will diffusely see in the current talk. 
So let me for, uh, let me summarize the key goals of the ongoing research on tensor aggregate materials, which include the use of fractal shapes to design groundbreaking natural inspired uh, lattice structures, which are lightweight and uh, exhibit extreme mechanical properties. The exploitation of the highly nonlinear mechanics of lattice materials for engineering purposes. The development of groundbreaking tensibility concepts to control the propagation of acoustic waves through materials and structures, and the additive manufacturing of physical models with internal pre stress capabilities. I will now recall some basic concepts of the geometric at the basis of the geometrically nonlinear response of tensibility structures, uh, starting with uh, simple 1D systems. I will first examine the most simple tensegrity structure, which is a regular minimal tensegrity prism. It consists of two sets of horizontal strings, three cross strings, and three bars. The horizontal strings form two triangle, two equilateral triangles, which are rotated with respect to each other by an angle of twist phi. Under uniform axial loading, it is easy to recognize that the deformation of the prism maintains the two terminal bases parallel to each other, while uh, deforming the while changing the angle of twist five and the height of the system h. Now let us consider the equilibrium equations associated with a generic and arbitrary node of the prism. Such equations set to zero the summation of all the forces acting on the given node in the current configuration. We, we are referring to the current deformant configuration. It is an easy task to show that the solution of these uh, equilibrium equations of the generic node gives, give, uh, gives rise to the force per unit length or force densities that are shown in this uh, um, panel. Uh, X1 is the force density in the cross strings, X2 is the force density in, in, the, in, in the generic uh, base string, and X3 is the force density in the, in the generic bar. The uh, geometrically feasible configurations under non-zero external forces are obtained by letting the angle of twist phi vary between uh, uh, pi over three minus pi over three when the cross strings touch each other to pi when the bars touch, in, touch each other. This uh, second configuration is a locking configuration, a configuration in which the system gets locked because the bars touch each other. The, uh, the freestanding configuration, so the, the, the equilibrium configuration in absence of external forces is this one, obtained for phi equal to phi over six pi. This is the freestanding configuration. So going from this configuration to the uh, locking configuration, we, we deform the prism in compression while uh, this other uh, configuration can be reached by, by uh, loading in, uh, in tension the prism starting from the freestanding configuration. A fully elastic model of a tensility prism is obtained by describing all the prism members as linear springs, characterized by the constitutive laws that are shown in this slide. This is the constitutive law for the cross strings, for the base strings, and for the generic bar. X1, X2, X3 are the first densities. S, L, and B are the uh, deformed lengths, the current lengths of the members, while Sn, Ln, and Bn are the uh, rest uh, lengths of the members. And finally, K1, K2, and K3 are stiffness coefficients. This is a fully elastic model in which all the members are described as an elastic spring. In tensegrity systems, there are no uh, bending moments, there are no uh, bending stresses, so each member can be described as a, as a, 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 a linear spring, uh, an axial spring. In a, in a series of studies available in the literature, the mechanical response of slender prisms has been described through a slightly different model, which assumes that the bases, the two bases, 
and the bars respond as rigid bodies, while the only elastically deforming members are the cross strings. This slide shows the elastic potential of a rigid elastic prism in the, in the sense of the definition that I have provided for different values of the pre-strain of the cross strings, which we name P. We also show a motion animation of the uh, uh, deformation of the system, which is synchronized with the force displacement uh, relationship of the system. This force displacement relationship shows that this particular prism with the, uh, with the basis and the bars behaving as rigid bodies shows an initial uh, almost zero stiffness in the uh, freestanding configuration, which is uh, exactly equal to zero if the pre-strain of the uh, cross string is zero. And uh, the actual stiffness uh, uh, progressively increases, getting to, a infinite value, to an infinite value uh, in correspondence with the uh, locking configurations with the bars touching each other. So this is a strongly nonlinear behavior originating by the geometrically nonlinear uh, response of the system. While returning to the uh, fully elastic model in which uh, all the elements respond as elastic uh, members, which is particularly effective when the, the, the prism is a thick instead of being uh, slender, we notice that the force displacement response uh, can be fit to power laws with varying exponents as the actual strain grows. Power laws with exponents of greater uh, n, greater than one, uh, characterize initial stiffening response with, uh, in, uh, in correspondence to which the concavity uh, faces upward of the force, is, force axial strain curve. While the softening response uh, of uh, uh, observed uh, for larger axial strains is fit to power laws with uh, exponents lower than one when the concavity of the F epsilon law faces downward. So, moving to analyze the wave dynamics of chains of uh, uh, prisms and uh, um, in frictionless contact each, each other and separated by uh, heavy or uh, lamped masses, we can observe this kind of uh, response, which is shown in this video animation. We observe the propagation of a compression solitary wave. So in particular, I'm showing the response of a, a system which is formed by, by uh, 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 prism with the stiffening response. So you observe the, the propagation of a compression solitary wave under the application of a compression of a, uh, of a, a dis disturbance to the left base of the uh, chain. The traveling poles exhibit compact support spanning a few units in agreement with the Nesterenko theory of nonlinear mass spring systems. Me again shown the show the propagation of a com compact compression wave through a stiffening system. Now I will pass to describe the response of a, uh, the geometrical nonlinear response of a different tensegrity system, which is named the theta tensegrity theta prism. Such a structure is formed by six bars, that is, two prisms, two minimal prisms, uh, one over the other. Uh, which are connected to each other by two sets of strings. One set of strings connects the boundary nodes of the structure, while the second stack of, uh, set of strings connects the inner nodes. In total, we have six bars, nine external strings, and six internal strings. The geometry of such a structure can be parameterized in terms of a set of geometrical variables formed by the lengths of the horizontal and vertical strings in two aspect angles, uh, alpha and beta. Alpha gives the angle of twisting between the terminal bases of this uh, particular prism, while beta gives the angles of inclination of the intermediate strings of the inner strings with respect uh, above the horizontal plane. 
Let us consider first the search for freestanding configurations, which are uh, placements in which the structure is in equilibrium under the action of zero external forces. We study, you know, that the, the search for freestanding configuration is a is a one a key problem of tensegrity structures. And in this, uh, uh, for with reference to tensegrity data prisms, we studied the self equilibrium problem by introducing the gram the Gramian G of the static matrix of the system, the equilibrium matrix. And we search for zero points of determinant of G uh, numerically. Uh, we focus our attention obviously on the zero points of the Gramian on G that correspond to non degenerate freestanding configurations. We also built a physical model of tensegrity data prism of all the uh, systems that we are analyzing, analyzing in this talk. Uh, in uh, the particular case of tensegrity data prisms, we use the assembling produce procedure that is uh, summarized in this slide. Due to time constraints, I will not go into the details, which are given in the references, which are provided in the previous slide. So, uh, I will now, now examine the axial force versus axial displacement response of a representative tensegrity data prism for different value of the pre-strain of the horizontal strings P. For low values of P, look at the blue curve in this slide, we observe that the axial force versus axial uh, displacement curve exhibit an initial stiffness branch where, uh, which shows a concavity facing upward, followed by softening branch when the concavity faces downward, and finally by a uh, an unstable branch, uh, which uh, correspond to an axial collapse phenomenon generated by the snap buckling of the structure. For larger values, this is true for low values of P. And for P equal to zero, the initial slope of this curve will be exactly zero. When P grows, we observe that the initial stiffening branch disappears. We have a uh, uh, the, the initial stiffness of the structure uh, increases markedly. We run an experimental validation of this behavior, uh, which I'm showing in this slide, which confirmed the occurrence of an initial stiffening behavior, which is followed by a softening response. The bar buckling uh, anticipated the snap buckling phenomenon, as you can see in this. Uh, video clip. Now, in order to summarize the results obtained so far, let's e examine first the wave dynamics of chains of tensegrity prisms with rigid bases, which are shown in the left panel of this slide. In this case, we observe an atomic scale localization phenomenon in the high energy limit corresponding to the propagation of compression of solitary waves with supersonic speed. In other words, the wave profile resembles that of a hyperbolic second for uh, speed, uh, for phase speeds that are uh, lower than the, sound, the speed of sound in the linearized system, and uh, while the, the, the wave profile reduces to a triangular shape localized on a single, localized on a single unit for in the supersonic regime. And this is the wave dynamic response of a chain of uh, uh, prisms with rigid bases, which have a strongly uh, stiffening response. While passing to examine the response, the wave dynamics of uh, chains with fully elastic uh, of prisms exhibiting fully elastic response, we uh, show in particular uh, the, the case of a, a chain formed by two, uh, of a system formed by two chains in tensionless contact with each other. A chain with a stiffening type response to the left, and a chain with softening type response to the right. So, by running a move, uh, motion animation of this system, we see the formation, we notice the formation of a compact compression wave, a solitary compression waves traveling along the stiffening branch. The interaction of this wave with the interface between this, the stiffening and the softening branches 
induces a solitary rarefaction wave, a transmitted solitary, solitary rarefaction wave with the oscillatory tail in the softening branch, while a train of reflected solitary compression waves is uh, observed in the stiffening branch. And this is the response of elastic systems, which, are, which can uh, support both compression and the rarefaction solitary waves. This slide shows a different type of nonlinear tensegrity lattices, which consists of bistable lattices with tensegrity architecture and nanoscale features. The additive manufacturing of these structures is performed through multi-photon lithography, which enables the fabrication of microscale structures with nanoscale features and extremely high resolution. Different modular lattices uh, comprised of struts with 250 nanometer radius have been tested under loading and unloading compression tests, as shown in this video clip. The current slide shows snapshots of and a video animation, which I will run later, of the uh, motion of a column of 10 bistable prisms impacted with initial vertical and angular speeds at the top base. The column is impacted so as to activate the bistable mechanism of the first unit. One observes the propagation of a compression uh, wave localized on a single unit in a single prism with negligible motion of the rest of the column. Okay, moving from the 1D preliminaries uh, uh, illustrated so far, uh, the second part of this talk will uh, focus on the compact wave dynamics of 2D and 3D tensile structures with the stiffening type response. Actually, the, the, the system that I that have shown so far can also have a 2D or 3D nature, but we're, we're modeled through 1D uh, mechanical models. Now we will instead examine, examine fully 2D and 3D tensegrity structures with stiffening type response. The presented results in multiple dimensions prove the presence of compact compression waves in tensegrity lattices with stiffening behavior. So this uh, main result confirms that observed for 1D systems. The presented slide also anticipates some potential engineering applications of the studied systems, which will be discussed later during the talk. These slides present a parade of 2D and 3D assemblies of tensegrity units, which may exhibit a stiffening type elastic response. So where does uh, this stiffening response come from. A basic stiffening behavior originates from interpenetration interlocking mechanisms between adjacent unit cells. It can be analyzed by studying the elementary two-string systems that is de depicted in the present slide. The response to a vertical load F acting along the internal mechanism of the structure is well approximated by cubic low with inflection point at the origin. The slope alpha of the tangent of the region is proportional to the pre-stressing force acting in the cables, will be zero in absence of a pre-stressing force. The stiffening behavior of the two-string system that I have just shown is at the basis, is at the basis of the nonlinear response of 2D and 3D and the structures that undergo interpenetration of adjacent unit cells. Let us refer to the, the elementary uh, system formed by two cells uh, shown in this animation. The units, the unit cells forming such a system do not exhibit stiffening response as isolated structure. However, when two adjacent cells interpenetrate penetrate each other, one bar pushes against the cable of the adjacent unit, producing a stiffening response of the overall system. Similarly, a stiffening response occurs when a cable gets entangled with an adjacent one in a 3D system, as it is shown in the current motion animation. The entanglement of cables in 3D systems formed by, for example, by cubic uh, unit cells produces 
a nonlinear response of the overall system. So the numerical simulations that I will show in the next uh, slides analyze the impact dynamics of 2D and 3D and 3D lattices in the large displacement regime. We model the examined lattices as collections of linear springs with, with the bars carrying either compressive or tensile forces and cables uh, carrying only tensile forces. In addition, the cables are supposed to be massless due to their li lightweight na nature, and the mass of the system is lumped at the nodes. The equations and motions of the employed mechanical model uh, can be written in this matrix form, where P is the vector of nodal positions, M is the mass matrix, which is constant, A is the equilibrium matrix, sorry, A is the equilibrium matrix, which depends on the uh, uh, nodal positions, D is the vector collecting the axial forces in all members. And looking at the constitutive equation shown in the bottom of this slide, Ki is the stiffness constant of the i member, Li is the uh, length of the member in the current in configuration, and L bar i is the, the length in the rest configuration. The solution is obtained by numerically integrated equations of motion so using a, an in-house developed MATLAB script. The systems that are analyzed in the sequel of the talk employ the geometrical and mechanical properties that are reported in the current, in the current table. We have a small scale, we analyze small, small scale unit cells with edge length of 20 millimeters not small scale uh, unit cells. The, bar, the bars are made of a titanium alloy employed for the additive manufacturing of metallic lattices, this titanium alloy. The cables consist of uh, nylon 12 fibers with yield strain up to over 30%. Spherical masses made of lead are added at each bar's end point to, to uh, 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 give uh, substance to the assumption that the mass of the system can be effectively, really effectively lamped at the nodes. It is important to remark that the theory, the theory of nonlinear waves in discrete 1D materials, which is uh, fully presented in this textbook by Nestorenko, predicts that particular systems featuring power low interactions with the exponent n greater than one, so that is stiffening systems, support energy transport through compression solitary waves at the steady state. So when the, the, the response is stiffening, the theory of uh, 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 1D particulate systems um, predict the formation of uh, compact uh, compression uh, com uh, solitary waves. In weakly precompressed systems, the phase, the characteristic phase speed Vs and the spatial length Ln of such waves obey the analytic laws that are provided in this slide, where A denotes the lattice constant. So we we'll now pass to illustrate impact simulations of different assemblies of 2D and 3D tensegrity the beams and plates. We begin by analyzing the impact dynamics of a series of beams or strips, which are formed by 3 times 50 and 1, 3, 5 times 80 grids of square cells. You will see that the wave dynamics of such systems retain the distinctive feature of the response observed in the 1D chains examined so far, due to the formation and propagation of a compact compression waves. Nevertheless, the response of the 2D and 3D systems is accompanied by the onset of a diffuse agitation motion of the lattice around the reference configuration near the load application points, reflection edges and collision regions, which we name, this phenomenon we name thermalization effect. Let us begin with the analysis of the 3 times 50 strip that is illustrated in this figure. The nodes of the right base are at rest, while four nodes facing the left base are assigned a prescribed initial, initial velocity V0, horizontal initial velocity V0. So with reference to the case with V0 equal to five meters per second, we illustrate that the formative configurations of the structures uh, with the um, superimposed color maps of the total energy carried by the different members of the uh, system at different times. 
by dividing the members' energies by the total energy carried out the street, we are led to the energy fractions that are shown in, the, in these color maps. This is the, the color bar, uh, uh, which uh, measure the intensity of these uh, energy fractions. It, it, it is worth remarking that we are not modeling any dissipative behavior, so the total energy of the streets remains constant. There is a, a different at times, there is a redistribution of the energy, but the total energy remains constant. A motion animation helps illustrating the current example. We know two main mechanisms of the pro propagation of the applied compressive disturbance. The thermalization of the lattice due to uh, the onset of uh, an agitation motion in the region of the strip that is located behind the, the impact point, which we name part one. And the separation and propagation of a compact compression wave with support consists of, of a packet of six nine units in front of the thermalized region. This uh, second region of the system, we is named part two. The animated uh, snapshots called the, the total energy fraction uh, PCCW transformed by the compact compression wave CCW at different times. See the red numbers in front of the CCW. We observe that the ECCW, these red numbers, undergoes at 2.8 degrees when traveling from the impacted base to the fixed age due to leaking effects. It also showed about 15% decrease after reflection of the uh, CCW of the fixed base due to the thermalization induced by the wave reflection. We ap apply different impact velocity to the strip and numerically computed the velocity VCCW exhibited by the central mass of the CCW during the interval intercurring between the time TA at which the CCW has entered part two and the time TB at which the right end of the CCW has reached the fixed base. The results shown in this table reveal that the velocity and energy of the CCW remain nearly constant during the propagation of the ray across part two of the system. The, variation, the variations of the VCCW the velocity and ECCW the energy in the time interval TATB are rather small, being less than 1% in terms of velocity and less than 2% in terms of energy. We further examine the time variation of the energy EJ that are associated with the nodes J of part one and part two by introducing the energy correlation function that is shown in the current slide. Such a function is equal to zero in presence of perfect equipartition among all modes, energy equipartition among all the modes of the system. It is indeed equal to one when the energy is localized in a single unit. The, the plot showing the energy correlation function versus time highlights marked energy equipartition in part one where the dashed blue cor correlation function tends to zero with time. Conversely, it shows marked energy localization in part two, where the solid red correlation function stays close to one. Some light thermalization of part two is observed after reflection of the compact compression wave at the fixed age, which corresponds to the decreasing branch BC uh, of the solid red curve that is shown in this slide. It is known that compactons, compact compression waves, emerge unmodified after collisions with other compactons, with exception to a phase shift. In order to investigate the real compacton nature of the waves traveling through 2D tensegrity beams, we studied the, the wave dynamics of uh, strips formed by 1 times 80, 3 times 80, and 5 times 80 cells, which are symmetrically impacted on both ends with initial velocity 5 meters per second. The results presented in this slide and the uh, following slides highlight the wave dynamics of a 1 times 80 strip in this slide. Uh, okay. So we, we see the two compact compression waves colliding. 
in the one time CAT strip, in the three time CAT strip, other uh, collision phenomenon in this three time CAT strip. And finally, we uh, will see uh, this uh, compact compression wave collision phenomenon in a five time CAT strip. The uh, results presented in, uh, in these three slides highlight a decrease of the energy ECCW uh, after collision of the two waves traveling in opposite directions. Such a light decrease of the energy, which is not dramatic, it's light. There is a light decrease of the energy after collision, it reduces, which reduces in amplitude with the thickness of the system. It is indeed equal to 8.7% in the one time CAT strip, 4.5% in the three times CAT strip, and 3.5.6% uh, in the 80 uh, times 50 strip. Now we pass to examine an impact simulation in a plate consisting of a 20 times 30 assembly of uh, square units, which is impacted on the left edge is this fixed over the right edge. As in the previous examples, we observe the nucleation of a compact compression wave in front of a, a thermalized region. We also observe that an asymmetric distribution of a traveling energy across the thickness of the compact compression wave. Uh, look at the different colors of the members forming the cells at the wave front. Which is due, this phenomenon is due to the chiral, chiral aspect of the examined lattice. This asymmetry of the wave front produces a wave drifting phenomenon. Now we go towards the conclusion of the talk, uh, analyzing the uh, uh, wave dynamics of 3D beams formed by 2 times 2 times 30 arrays of cubic cells subject to different impact loading conditions. Let us first study the wave dynamics of the beam that is shown in this slide under the application of an initial constant velocity 1.25 meters per second to the nodes of the four of the uh, four cells that face the left base. As in the 2D lattices that we have studied so far, also in the current system, we notice the formation of a compact compression wave separating from a thermalized region, exhibiting slight Slightly, uh, um, however, so in this example, uh, we observe that such a thermalized region exhibits a slightly smaller longitudinal extension as compared to the 2D beams that we have studied so far. So the thermalized region has a smaller longitudinal extension. One notices that the total energy fraction transported by the compact compression wave is uh, uh, about 38% before the impact with the fixed edge. So also in the 3D system, we study the collision of two compact compression waves uh, as uh, following a dub double impact simulation on a two times two times 30 beam of cubic cells. We can run the motion animation. We observe the formation of two compact compression waves near the impacted basis, which are travel in opposing direction with approximately constant velocity before and after collision. Some light thermalization of the lattice is observed after collision of the two compact compression waves. We can observe a small thermalization of the lattice in the central region. One, however, observes the peaks of the velocity profile comprised between the two leading pulse, pulses, so this, this peak, uh, reduces in amplitude when uh, with time. So this thermalization uh, uh, reduces in amplitude with time. The behaviors examined so far suggest the employment of tensegrity beams to form innovative acoustic lenses. So arrays of 2D and 3D tensegrity or 2D 3D tensegrity beams with stiffening type response, which act as phononic uh, crystals, will be subjected to different levels of pre-stress and will be impacted at one end so as to generate, maybe with a time shift, so as to generate compact compression waves with different, uh, with, uh, different phases within the lens. 
such compact compression waves will impact uh, an adjacent medium and will coalesce to the focal point in this adjacent host medium. And this uh, focal point could be a material defect or a tumor mass uh, to be uh, hit, to be struck. So moving uh, to the concluding uh, remarks, I wish to remark that the simulations presented in this talk have shown that the dynamics of 2D and 3D consecutive beams is characterized by the combination of thermalization phenomena in proximity of the impacted areas and the formation and propagation of compact compression waves in front of the thermalized regions. The traveling compact compression waves support energy localized on packets of unit cells, which propagate with nearly constant velocity before and after collisions with other compact compression waves and exhibit limited energy leaking during their propagation. The observed thermalization effects are marked in proximity of the regions with the uh, application of the impact loads and lighter in correspondence with the collision zones of the compact compression waves traveling in opposite directions. We can con conclude that 2D and 3D tensegrity beams can be employed to form innovative acoustic lenses with tunable focuses, with tunable focus. Compared to devices based on granular metamaterials uh, supporting fixed wavelength and solitary waves, the tensegrity acoustic lenses will profit from the adjustable weight of compact compression waves and the atomic scale localization phenomenon, phenomenon that has been observed in the high energy limit. Future research lines will include the analytic, uh, the analytic modeling of the wave dynamics of tensegrity lattices to multi-scale approaches, which are aimed at developing a general quasi-continuum theory. This study will allow us to further investigate on the compact nature of the mechanical waves supported by tensegrity lattices in the continuum limit. We also intend to experiment novel additive manufacturing techniques for the fabrication of physical models of lattices with integrity architecture through future work. Such models will be subject to dynamical tests aimed at experimental validating the pulse in compact with dynamics of highly nonlinear tensegrity materials at different scales. Finally, we address to future work the design of tensegrity materials featuring elastic stiffening response for the fabrication of tunable focus acoustic lenses as well as innovative tools for damage detection and structural health monitoring in materials and structures. The current slide shows previous work on the post-tensioning of 3D printed tensegrity uh, uh, columns um, at the macro scale. An electron beam melting facility available at the University of Sheffield was employed to 3D print structures which, which were equipped with uh, temporary supports. The temporary supports were removed after the 3D printing phase. And spectra strings, cross strings were added to the 3D printed structure uh, and a suitable state of internal pre-stress was applied to the structure, to the system, as shown in this animation, uh, which shows myself applying a self-stress uh, state in this uh, column of uh, 3D printed tensegrity uh, prism by tensioning the post-tensioning the spectra strings added afterward, afterwards. We are currently investigating the additive manufacturing of tensegrity micro lattices through a projection micro lithography system that has been built in-house and uh, which employs swelling materials for the tensile members, the uh, purple members in this picture. Active hydrogels can be usefully employed for fabricating such members. Once dried, they will contract, creating internal pre-stress in the system. So that concludes my presentation. Thank you very much for your attention. You will find supplementary materials on my personal website, which you can reach at the following URL. And obviously, if there are any questions, I will be very glad to answer them. Thank you very much.